Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Old World Blues as the Siege of Legion. So we've almost defeated the NCR. Like, they are close to death. Oh no, there we go. They're actually dead right now. So, what are we going to do? Well, we're going to take a decent amount of territory, I would say. Basically, everything, at least here for starters, should definitely belong to us. We fought. We fought for this land. And I lost too many men actually trying to take Baja California, so we definitely want this under our control. So that's going to be an end of turn one. The Brotherhood, you can get this territory. Uh, you can get this territory as well. Um, And you can also get some of the north. I mean, the Antelope Tribe, they should also get some territory for fighting them. You know what? The Antelope Tribe can have new Reno. So I end our turn here. Again, I'm giving the Brotherhood probably more territory than they actually deserve because they didn't really do anything. Um, so end our turn here. That's the She. The She's fine where it is. So I feel like we should probably take the rest. We'll definitely at least take all the rangers. We'll take this mountain pass that I don't think does anything. Is there a way that I can get them? The only way I can have them have a full name would be to give them all of this. Like that. And I think I'm okay with that, just so it'll make the names look a little bit nicer. And I think that is good. Western Brotherhood and Cedar Legion all taking decent chunks of territory, I would say. The NCR apparently okay, I did not I knew I, I knew I'd forget about these islands. No, give them give them to me, thank you. So with that we have I mean we're at War Clamas still. I don't know why, but we just are. The Western Brotherhood can deal with that. I'm not gonna get involved because I literally could not care less. So, you guys are down there for that. I know you have too many, but we're going to put two of you into you. And you are basically just going to be, like, ready for a naval invasion from here. Deep within the enemy territory, like, right there. And then, anybody else who cannot be part of that, just go right there. Beautiful. Uh, my navy... These guys can combine, delete all their old orders. You're going to convoy escort here. And that should give us enough control over this region. And while you guys are still in another war against you, I think... Like, they, again, it, it, we could invite them, but it doesn't actually do anything. And I find that very strange. Most of their dock here is just kind of blowing up, so let's build some more convoys just because I can. I mean, well, I, I don't really need think we need to build more boats. Uh, most of these guys are pretty... I was going to say most of them are landlocked. That's not actually necessarily true. They actually have like a decent-sized navy between the, uh, all of them. So, insufficient resources. Let's trade with you. Um, basically, we can't trade with you at all. A lot of people don't want to even trade with us in, in any capacity. But that's okay for right now. So we're going to go up to speed 5, waiting for all of our troops to march their way down to the south. Again, I think the Western Brotherhood, I mean, not zero. They don't hate us. And there's also a chance the intellectuals come and charge power in our country. So that would also make the Western Brotherhood like us a little bit more for that reason as well. Okay, so we can deploy some more troops. Again, our focus rate, like, there's nothing we can do, right? Like, all of this is locked, because now the NCR doesn't even exist anymore. Right? So, all of this is just kind of... Trying 
Triumph at the dam. Fortify the dam, Rukon. Poking in a bear. But again, the NCR doesn't exist anymore. So most of this doesn't do anything. Boulder City is completely off control by Siege of Legion. Where's Boulder City? It is. It's. I don't see it here. It's you. You're the guy, the guy I can't actually attack. So I think you're just there forever. All safe and sound. Yeah, no. There's actually there's just nothing I can. I can get some slave some tribals. But realistically, there's not much I can actually do. Rio Pact is quite strong. Jungle Pact is, I think, finally actually winning down there. What do you guys actually do? That's the robot. Okay. That's fine. But I think we have to attack you. I mean, I have the CB, so... I mean, it's either we wait to be attacked or we attack them first. And I think being the aggressor would be the preferable situation here. We're lacking for, uh, Sacramento Estuary. Shallow Sea. Where's the estuary? I don't know what you're talking about. It looks like everywhere... Like, it looks like this is all part of one sea region. So I'm not too sure what you're saying you can't do. Sacramento estuary. I'll just try to find it. Sacra... How do you spell Sacramento? Um... Nope, I mean... According to, like, does it at least show... Does it show sea tiles? Like, I look up shallow sea? No, it actually does not look up sea areas. So that's not helpful. But I mean, I, I don't see what the problem here is. Like, it seems like you should be fine. Very strange. Okay, so again, we have a technology slot. Let's go for MedX. Decisions available. Again, you. Uh, there's nothing else in here. Which sucks really badly, so... I guess we'll just do, like, our... Default stuff. Construction repair, because I'm sure... It's, yeah, a lot of things are being blown up. Is everybody in position? I mean, they are. They're worried about Sacramento, which, I, again, I don't know if it even exists. Oh no, you're still thinking about here. Okay, never mind. Oh, you guys don't have a battle plan. Right, you need to actually move troops down here. So we'll say in about a week-ish, we can probably do an attack. Okay, the White Lake's taking more territory. Again, like, normally you can get the White Lights in your faction, but not this time. It's just not... Just not physically possible. Again, I don't think there's any way the Western Brotherhood can attack us. I don't think there is... Victory or death. Yeah, I don't think there's anything in here that attacks us. So we don't have to worry about the Western Brotherhood. Clamass is about to die. And that's okay. We're not advanced. We can't keep going down here. We get reinforcement rate going up. No, let's get the Cryption going in the right direction. 
So our troops have almost arrived. They will be there in another 12 days. So again, I don't want to attack before our troops get there. I'd be, I think, foolish. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think I am. Deploy all of our troops down here in southern Mexico. And we will just, you know, prepare for the war to come. And we finally have our APC divisions. Look at them, they're in a little armored bus. So again, it seems pretty good. The APC divisions are pretty okay, generally speaking. You're not part of the faction, though. So I don't need to worry about you. And our probe always have arrived, so I think now is the time we declare war. Potential enemies, Rio Grande. I mean, I knew that was already a possibility, so I'm not too concerned about it. I guess you guys don't have a battle plan right now, do you? No. So, go down back to speed 4. We're going to draw a defensive line to here. And yeah, you're you guys are just going to try to attack way down to the south right away. And a general invasion across the entirety of the front would be preferred. Apparently you guys are having 103 base damage. Damn, son. Holy hell. Um, okay. So again, our aircraft are still here for some reason. There's no airports down there, are there? No, there are. What army would you be attached to right now that this would be your preferred hangout? I don't think any. Luca revolts. Our War of the Free Fighters apparently brought to wars for subjects. I don't have subjects, do I? I don't think so. So, I don't know what that's actually going to do. The Texas Arms Association. Oh, it just called in random areas. What the hell is the Texas Arm? Oh, this guy. Okay. So then I guess I'll just deploy, like, one, two, don't cancel. Deploy, like, five divisions over there. There's also some over here as well. Oh, uh, why do you have to be annoying? So you guys go here around, um... One, two, three, four, five... Yeah, so you surround him. Why do you have to spawn troops then? That's actually just incredibly rude. Yeah, so you guys be here. Uh, delete that plan. Did I take troops out of somebody else? Yes, I did. Not what I was meaning to do. Does that naval invasion work yet? Like, where are they? Well, where the hell are you going? Pardon me? Okay, I'm confused. Where are my guys that I sent on this naval invasion? And why is there only two? Where are those two? Oh, they're actually pushing through me. Uh, that's not what I was wanting, of course. Yeah, so push this way. Apparently you are, like, incredibly difficult to deal with. Well, I wasn't really, I wasn't really expecting that, to be completely honest. Uh, you guys deploy right here. 
part of the naval invasion, I guess. Or not. That's fine. So we got medics. Uh, who is this? What army are you on? Because you guys should not be attacking. You are just defending this line as much as humanly possible. At least until we can actually kill another one of these smaller countries. And get them... Oh, Clamath, uh, just go... Pass, 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 pass. Just give that to the Brotherhood. I'm sure it's fine. So... If it planes in reserve, we have some research slots. Let's get our infantry as good as possible. And we basically already have. So let's improve our factories then. Okay, so they're going. So the naval invasion has, has left. And if they land down here in the Republic of Rio Grande, which has about 100 divisions, which is a lot of men. I mean, it says that we do outnumber them. With the help of this guy. We do outnumber him. So we do, you know, we do still have an ally. It's just not an ally who is the, the best. And that's okay. Sometimes you don't need the best allies. You just need somebody who you can trust. But we definitely need more. We don't have enough men to actually cover this front line. Which is an issue, is it not? We might just need to deploy all of our troops. That we can possibly deploy right now. Onto that front line. And we also probably want to recruit a general. Which we already actually had. There we go. So just get over there. Just fill out that front line as much as you possibly can. Thank you very much, my friends. Let's get us around on you. We'll kill these guys. And purple's doing okay. Uh, this front can basically just combine to that front. Delete this. Of course, they keep putting them into the wrong armies. And now you can go up like that. There we go. And just, if we can just get to these borders, that'd be beautiful. And if we can also cross the river, that would also be quite nice. You know, just giving us more leverage, I would say. So how long till our Marines get there? Our Marines will be there in a week. That's okay, I think. It's not that bad. It could be a lot worse. We're overrunning a lot of enemy forces. You love to see it. We've lost 1,000 men, but apparently they lost I mean, 2.5 thousand. So we, you know, we're not taking as many casualties as we're dealing out. We're just kind of losing territory because of uh, circumstance, I guess you could say. Wait, are you part of... This, who, who's, who are you? You're these guys. Uh, you guys do need a battle plan. It's going to be pushing your way here. Uh, you guys over here need a battle plan. And it's going to be to push your way to their front lines here. If you want to push your way out, that'd be great. Um, and naval invasion, they're almost where they need to be. We're doing a landing. It looks like we should win. And beautiful. All 20 divisions are on this front now. And one guy will stay behind. So I think this is going to be a good point to end this episode. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Anthem. If you enjoyed, my thumbs up. If not enjoyed, you can always thumb down. Want to see more, subscribe. And goodbye.